Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about our measurement notes. We're going to start these notes by identifying the most common form of measurement used by the entire scientific community and most of the countries around the world. Now this is known as the System International Day Units or the SI unit of measurement. Now, like I said, most of the world uses SI units, but there's just a couple of us that still use this old system known as the Imperial, or we've more commonly named it lately as the US system. There are three countries in total that still use this, the USA, Liberia, which is this tiny little dot right here, and Burma. If we want to measure distance, and distance is how far something has gone, we're going to use the metric base unit of the meter. Meter is abbreviated with a capital M. The US, or the imperial unit, as we like to call it, might be the inch, the foot, or the mile. And you can see we've started our X here because we do not use these units in science class. Volume is going to be defined as the amount of space that something takes up. The metric base unit for volume is more commonly known as the liter and is abbreviated with a capital L. In U.S. units, this could be given with a fluid ounce could be with a cup, or we could even go far, as far down as if some of you bake, you might say it's like a teaspoon. These are really confusing because we can't convert between them easily, and like we said before, we don't want to be using those U.S. units. Next we want to talk about mass. Mass is actually known as the amount of matter, but most people tend to think of it as how heavy it is. But we want to start by using that term, the amount of matter, in an object. The base unit for mass, is the metric base unit for mass, is actually the kilogram. And this is abbreviated kg. In US units, we might end up using something like the pound or the ounce again. But like we said before, we do not want to be using those. Temperature is going to talk about how hot or cold something is. But as we get more into chemistry, we're going to end up finding out this year that cold is actually a relative term and we're only ever measuring the amount of heat. The metric base unit for temperature is actually Kelvin. This is abbreviated with a capital K. The U.S. unit for temperature is Fahrenheit, which we abbreviate usually with that degrees Fahrenheit symbol. You might also see us sometimes used in class because we don't have thermometers that measure Kelvin Celsius. Just degrees S or degrees C, forgive me. Time is one of those things that is universal to us. Um, our base unit for time though is going to be seconds, which we abbreviate S. And there is nothing that we put in for the U.S. unit because time is universal across the entire globe. The final thing we want to talk about for our notes today is going to be force. Force is any push or pull that acts on an object. We're going to talk a lot more about this as we get into our second semester and we start getting into physics. The metric base unit for force is known as the Newton, and that does have to do with Sir Isaac Newton himself. It's abbreviated as a capital N or as a kilogram times meter per second squared. There is no U.S. unit for Newtons because it is universal throughout the entire world. And that covers our notes for measurement. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon.